In the early 70s, we met a charming international entrepreneur who offered my husband Jack a partnership in his Brazilian enterprises. He explained that he traveled all over the world and he needed help. And he also revealed that he was a U.S. undercover agent. At the time, Jack was unemployed and had been for a number of months and was beginning to suspect that his former employers were blackballing him. He'd been embroiled in office politics for at least a year before he was let go, and it had a, a very bad effect on our home life, and it was not a good environment in which to raise our daughters. So this offer really came at a good time. We could get Jack out of the corporate world in New York, and we could save the marriage and the family, and we could have the necessary income to raise our four daughters. And that's how I got the first part of my title, For Love and Money. We didn't just run off to Brazil, crazy-like. We had a lawyer investigate the man. Jack followed through on all his references. And he also went to, to Brazil and saw the businesses that the man was talking about. And it all looked great. So we sold our big old Victorian in Greenwich, Connecticut. We took our four daughters, the dog and the cat, and Jack Cessna 185, and we moved to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It wasn't until after we had settled in that we discovered there was another part to our partner that he had failed to mention. And that part led us into adventures that we never dreamed of. We became involved with some very colorful characters who befriended us and we had some adventures, some even life-threatening, that were so incredible that it was a story that had to be written.